Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see aura enabled methods in Salesforce. So we are, we are going to see what are the two use cases of these methods. And we, then we are going to see considerations. And in the end, we'll see a demo. So let's start with what are these methods. So the first use case of aura enabled and methods are, are uh, the lightning components can access only those apex methods and properties that are annotated with the aura enabled annotation. So this helps the lightning component to enable communication between uh, the, uh, the server side Apex controllers. So we use the aura enabled uh, on the Apex class static methods to make them accessible as remote controller actions in our lightning components. So uh, definitely we need Apex in our lightning components to perform, to get data, to manipulate data. So we can only call those uh, Apex methods that are annotated with the aura enabled annotation. So within the aura enabled uh, annotations, we can pass in different parameters. So one of the parameter is cacheable equal to true. To improve the runtime performance, we set aura enabled cacheable equal to true to cache the method results on the client side. Uh, uh, to set a cacheable equal to true, a method must only get data. It can't mutate data in that call. Uh, the second argument which we can pass is the continuation equal to true. So we can use the continuation class in Apex to make long running requests to the external web service. We can make call outs uh, which, will, uh, which are long running requests and that won't re return results immediately. In that case, we can set continuation equal to true uh, to those aura enabled methods. So, uh, and then we can also have cacheable equal to true in the same or enabled annotation to cache or uh, to cache the result of the continuation action. So let's see some considerations now of the or enabled methods. So not all argument types are supported for the or enabled method. For example, set collections are not supported as a parameter, as a return type. Many system classes are not supported. Many system classes are not supported like system.select option, describe data category group result. So this is used uh, when you want to get a pick list option in Apex and this is uh, to get the data category of the knowledge article. So there are many which are not supported. In that case, we can create a wrapper class. In that wrapper class, we can have some of the parameters and then we can return that wrapper class back to the lightning component. Uh, aura enabled methods can only be static. So uh, that is these these methods must take arguments from the page and do the work and then return the results back to the page that means that uh, they uh, they'll work on the parameters that they receive from the page that is the lightning component so uh, to run a class with the aura enabled method the user should have the access uh, to that class uh, in the profile and permission set so this uh, was part of an update re uh, that was done recently so this was done uh, because of the security considerations, uh, uh, Salesforce. Now, uh, we have another use of the aura enabled methods. So we can use the aura enabled on Apex instant methods and properties to make them serializable when an instance of the class is returned as a data from the server side action. So uh, let's say we are uh, creating some instance variable and we want to return those back to the client that is the li uh, lightning component. So we can set uh, those instance variables as aura enabled. Then only Salesforce will consider them serializable and then uh, return that data back from server to the client. So when a server side action returns an instance of my class as a result, only the aura enabled properties and methods are serialized and sent to the uh, client side. Other non annotated members of the class will not be included in the serialized result. So we will see this when we see the demo. So now let's see a demo now. So firstly, I'll open developer console. Uh, I've opened the developer console. Uh, I can see a method that is aura enabled cacheable equal to true and I'm passing in the list wrapper. Now let me pass instead of this uh, list of wrapper, let me pass set of ID and see if it allows me to return that. I'll see in the problems. I can see that aura enabled methods does not support methods uh, that does not support return type of set. So even if I add a map of ID comma set of ID and try to do it this way, uh, it won't allow me to do that. even even if that uh, those are within a map. So 
yeah, but if I do map of id comma list of string, then it will uh, do it will not throw me this error. It will just uh, throw me the return type error. So uh, uh, another way to return uh, those classes that are not supported is through a wrapper class. So this is what I'm doing. I'm creating a wrapper class. Uh, the set, uh, if we try to uh, return the set directly, it, uh, we saw that it was throwing an error. So I've created this instance variable in the wrapper and I've also created this list of system.select option. This is also not supported. Uh, if I will try to do it here and uh, try to save it. So this is also not supported. Uh, so we can return those values back using a wrapper whatever is not supported as a return type so for that uh, i'll change it back to list of wrapper uh, and save it so now we can see that uh, we are returning a list of wrapper and this list of wrapper has two variables aura enabled attribute instance variable that is list of a select a system dot select option so and in the constructor we are initializing those now uh, uh let me go back to the LWC component. So in the LWC component, we are calling this uh, method. Let me go to my org and uh, let me uh, refresh it and we can see one the results. So I've refreshed the component uh, and let me see what is the result that is printed in the console. So in the console, we can only see the OP list is getting printed and we don't have the attribute of, we don't have the attribute of string set. This is because the string set is not annotated with aura enabled methods. And we saw that the second use case of the aura enabled annotation is uh, we can uh, we, we can make an instance variable serializable. That is Salesforce will serialize it and send it back from the server side to the client side. So if I do an aura enabled here. So uh, and save it. Now uh, I'll refresh that page and then we will see whether uh, the whether the string set is getting returned or not and the string set should have these two default values. So I'll go back and boom, we can now see that the string set is getting returned in our data that is back from the server side to the client side. So, so the brief summary of what we have learned today is we can uh, use the aura enabled annotation on the apex methods uh, which we can then use to call them from the lightning components and the second use case of aura enabled methods is uh, uh, to make the instance variable serializable so that they can be returned from the apex to the client side so uh, when we use a wrapper class or any other type so and we need to use wrapper class since not all the return types are supported as i said so that's all for today's session. So hope you like this video. So do like to the do like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks.